Hi, everybody. So um, those who know me will know that I'm uh, quite involved in uh, with this idea of biomodding and implantables and chip technology and all those kinds of things. Put a chip into my uh, my hand just here, which is an RFID chip, um, quite some years ago now. And that opens uh, the doors in my office and does Liverpool and elsewhere just with a, a wave of the hand, which is fantastic. It's quite limited. You can store a little bit of data in it, but but that's about it. Um, it's quite small, went in quite easily. Then um, I wanted to go a little bit further. So I, uh, I've been talking to the people over at Dangerous Things, a fantastic business who, who do all this stuff. And they've got an implantable computer chip that you can... Um, you know, connect with remotely over wireless and you can download apps into it and you can program it and you can make do all sorts of stuff. So I got one of those implanted a couple of years ago and that was great. Um, and I've used that for a lot of stuff, primarily security related. But sadly, um, it gave up the ghost and it stopped working. So um, there's a whole new level of what bricked means when this stuff is inside you. <laughs> So, you know, fantastically, Amal over at Dangerous Things, he uh, sent me a replacement. It's very kind of him. And I went down to the guy um, from the body mod shop who, who did this for me originally, a uh, little place down south. Absolutely fantastic guy. And he uh, he took out the old one and he put in the new one. And uh, you can see here, that's uh, the entry and exit point where it's gone into my hand. It goes along. About that big, healing up nicely. It was, it was quite painful um, to have it put in, but um, it all went really well, and I'm pleased to say it's working. The uh, the one he took out, you can see here. That's that's about the size of it. It's the Apex Flex, and I'm going to be sending that back to Amal so that he can have a look at um, what's gone wrong. These are not powered. There's no battery in them. So like, you know, when you, you pay, um, you know, with your credit card, your debit card, basically what happens here is that the machine, in this case, their mobile phone, the, the radio um, will power the device. It will come up. It will do its computing. It will transmit information and receive information, and then it will power down again. And there's enough power in the radio signal to 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 cause that to happen, which is, is quite magical, really. So this thing is basically the, the inside of what you'd have in, in a smart card. Um, and what maybe a lot of people don't know is the, the chips in the smart cards, you can download all sorts of applications to them um, written in something called Java card. So you can write your own, you can download them, you do all sorts of stuff. There are apps that you can download for this to open your Tesla. Uh, and what I use it for is we're moving into a world now, I think, where security, particularly online security, is, is really critically important. Um, passwords uh, are no longer good enough. We need to be moving into a world where we have our own um, private cryptography keys to identify us as we log into things. And indeed, some places are doing this. Um, so what you can do is you can store your private cryptography keys in this and use this device with a wave of your hand to authenticate yourself. So I'm viewing this as a kind of a digital proxy me for the digital age, for our new um ways of authenticating ourselves, our presence onto the internet to conduct our business, be that websites and, and banking apps or virtual reality. So it's quite exciting, it's quite interesting. Um, so as I say, that's gone in quite well, still a little bit sore, but it's healing up nicely. And I'm pleased to say that I can show you a little demonstration of what it does. Here, I've got um, Android phone and I've got a, an app really simple little demonstration app that I downloaded onto this. And I can set a URL into that application. And when I wave my hand on the phone with a bit of luck, what's going to happen is that it's going to open up that website. So let's give that a go. I just need to find the right place. There you go. And it's opening up the Dynamic Devices website. Isn't that fantastic? So you know if you want to exchange business contact details with me, you know how to do it. And uh, I'll do a few more updates. And now I'm setting up my computer system so that I can log in and I can authenticate to say GitHub when, when I'm doing development. I can sign my work so that people know it's from me. All manner of things you can do with this stuff. Um, so I'll leave you there. Thank you for listening.